There's a brother by the name of Corey Lewis. He has a youth mentorship program, and he ended up babysitting two of the children and with the parents' permission, of course. Well, he went to a Walmart. A white woman saw the children. She started to intervene, trying to find out the children are okay, start following the brother around, call the police, had the police come up and start checking on the children. I mean, it's just crazy what people do because of you a different race, but let's roll the clip. Lady over here, she's following me. As soon as Corey Lewis noticed a white woman watching him and the two kids he was babysitting, he went on Facebook Live. All because I got two, two kids in the backseat that do not look like me. This lady has took it upon herself to say that she's gonna take my plate down and call the police. In an exclusive interview, Lewis explains what happened next. We then left to go get gas across the street at the gas station. She moved closer to the gas station, waited there. Not knowing who this woman is or she what she's me. capable of, Lewis takes the children back to his house. The woman follows them home. Then the police show up. You if I talk to him? That's crazy. An officer questions the 10 and 6 year olds before calling their parents. David Parker and Dana Mango were in disbelief. Are you saying that because there's an African American male driving my two white kids that he was stopped and pulled over and questioned? And he said, I'm sorry, ma'am, that's exactly what I'm saying. The East Cobb couple had arranged for Lewis to babysit weeks ago. Their son attends his youth mentor program, and he's a friend of the family. They believe Lewis was stalked, harassed, and questioned by police. For BWB, which is, I guess, the new thing, babysitting while black. So as you heard, the mom stated, basically everything about this was completely racial. And once again, it's not anything that we are surprised about. It doesn't shock us at all. Now, this woman, instead of paying attention and saying, well, is the kids in distress? Are they saying something? Are they trying to get attention or help? No, she's just saying this black man don't need to be around his white children. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to tell him, and, and I'm going to call the police so they show up. And that's really what happened with this situation. Now, for me, and it's just me, I know how a lot of people are in the South. It's calling it what it is. And I would not want to be in that position. Not to say something wrong to children, something wrong to parents, but just as a black man, you would be looked at funny being around white children. Now, a black woman could do that, and it would be okay. But then if in the past, they've had black women have been harassed when they had white children around them. But they'll be quicker to come at you if you are a man. It's just that simple. Now, men aren't really normally known to babysit children. It's more so women and young girls that would do that. So seeing them with this man, they probably going to just jump through the roof with that. Now his business and what he do is his youth mentorship program. Hey, that's cool. Kids need that. Some kids are troubled, etc. But with this same lady would have called the police if there were a young black girl and a young black boy with him. We know good and well the answer to that question. She wouldn't have thought about it. She wouldn't have said anything. So it's not about him being menacing or look like he's going to do anything. It's just a racial aspect of the whole thing. They don't want to see black men around white children. They already feel that black men are all kind of stereotypes that they made up about black men. There's no validity to that at all. But this is what black men have to deal with in this country, unfortunately. That's why when you hear me say different things about trying to look at things on the continent of Africa. Sometimes you just need a break from some of these things in this country because this country would never stop with racism. They would never stop. They live, breathe, and sleep racism. They teach it. It's passed down. You're not going to change these people when it comes to racism. You can't make a crooked branch straight. You just can't. Now, there was a story I covered a few years ago where you actually had a white guy, and it was two black children, and but the children was his children. And he was questioned about that. He wasn't followed and all this like stuff like this situation. But he was questioned, but they didn't treat him that way. They just found out what was going on, and that was the end of it. They didn't treat him like some sort of criminal. But when it comes to the black man, they treat him like a criminal. I understand the country we live in. I understand the system that we live in as well. Me personally, 
I would not want to babysit those children just for the simple fact, not because the children are bad or the parents are bad. And he said he know the parents, but the fact is the optics in this country just no. And, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. We see a lot of Jim Crow esque things happening in this country. And a lot of people not paying attention to that, but i shout out this brother for having a youth mentorship program. I'm glad he's reaching out and helping children. But, you know, in the future, my brother, you ought to just consider it just a little bit. Now, if he had his woman with him while those children were there, I believe it would have probably been just a lot different if maybe he had his woman with him or maybe some woman that worked with him in the mentorship program. It would be a little different. But the fact is that you're a black man by yourself with two white children, you're just looking for trouble. I'm saying it just not because the people are bad or, or the kids are bad, but you're looking for trouble because this society is built up of nothing but a bunch of racists, unfortunately. Leave me a comment there what you think about this particular story. You have to understand, black men, in this country, we have to move a certain way, unfortunately.